To do a problem like this, now what we simply need to do is go ahead and look at this. And again, we're talking about a circle. So guys, whenever I'm doing these types of problems, I can't tell you how important this is. When you say, hey, Ms. McCoy, I have no idea how to do this, or can you help me out? I want to see a picture drawn, and I want to see the formula. OK? So you're talking about a circle. There's your circle, right? Center, radius. Then let's draw the formula. Area equals pi r squared. That's the basics, all right? You get stuck here. Now let's go. But let's look at what, what information do we know? We know the area is 201.1 square inches. So I can plug that in for A, correct? Yes? OK. 201.1 equals pi. We already know pi is a number. And then we do not know what the radius. That's what they're asking us to do, r squared. So therefore, to find the radius, what I need to do is use my inverse operations to isolate my r. So to do that, I'll divide by pi on both sides. And again, ladies and gentlemen, do not approximate till the very, very end. So therefore, I have 201.1 divided by pi equals r squared. So to undo r squared, I need to take the square root on both sides. Therefore, r, my radius, equals 201.1 divided by pi and then square root. So make sure, guys, again, I cannot emphasize this enough. Do not do 201.1 divided by pi and then round and then take the square root. <clears throat> Try to leave everything as far as their full answers as much as possible. So I have 201.1 .1 divided by pi. Then I take the square root of the whole answer, not the rounded answer. And what I get is 8.0007. <clears throat> so therefore, my radius equals 8.0 as I round to the tenth, and that's in inches. <clears throat> Sense of length is just a one dimensional, it's just inches, it's not inches squared or so forth. Anybody have any questions on that? Cool? Makes a little sense?